Bad Business is a shooter game with many weapons, tools, and more set with a mafia theme. Recently, the game celebrated its one-year anniversary on May 28, 2020 with its brand new update. This new update has quite a bit of changelogs to it, so I wanted to go through that as well in this video. There's quite a bit, so let's get to it. The point that I would like to address is the new weapon that is in fact free first. It is the firework. The firework is free for around a week or so, with it being a melee weapon. It is purchasable in the shop. As well, there are many debuffs to this update. The most major last update was the P90 as starter weapon, being nerfed quite a bit as it could be comparable to the Chris Vector, which is unlocked somewhere around level 50 prestige 0. This update brings another weapon nerfed which is the Remington. As well, there are new cosmetics, Wild West guns, and the Model 1887 shotgun. The other updates being included is the Disabled Arms option, the new Regdoll Disable option, Rectical Rotation, the Wild West weapons being optimized for gun game mode and randomizer, as well as brand new profile cards which appear at the end of rounds, and are a nice aesthetic touch. There's quite a bit in this update to cover and I'll be discussing my opinion, as well as reviewing the new Firework weapon myself, and finally discussing what the new debuffs and the rest would do in game. Buckle up everyone because it is going to be quite a packed episode today. My name's Tanuki Alex and this is our new series where we report on Roblox news and updates in game. Let's get started. Yo what's up past trainer squad and welcome back to another video. Before we get started in this video, don't forget to subscribe for the latest Roblox news drama, tips and tricks, and more. Turn on the bell so that way you never miss out on one of my weekly videos and to become part of the hashtag nerd squad. A quick update, we are now a YouTube partner program member, which I seriously appreciate everyone's support on. Please God, watch my video, God please, this game pass cost me my life savings. I have children to feed and a family to feed. I'll further that in the latter half of the video, so let's just jump right into it. In today's video, I'll be firstly reviewing the sale of the Wild West weapon which is on sale for a week for $2.49 for the Game Pass. The Game Pass weapons on the Wild West Game Pass is on sale for $2.49 Robux, which is the Rolling Block Rifle, the Navy Revolver, Dynamite, Model 1873, which was recently just added, Bow, the Hunting Knight, and the Model 1887. I'll also be reviewing the other sale items. Are they worth it to buy? Next, we'll be reviewing the debuffs and how they will affect the game, especially the major ones. Lastly, along with the firework, we'll be summarizing this update and a bit of commerce about the end about my personal update as I don't want to fill up the important halves with my gibberish. Let's start with the first one. In reviewing the shooting of the first gun, the rolling block rifle, here are its stats. It fires at 240, damage can range from 70 to 150 depending on a headshot and it's a semi. However, it only has one magazine, which makes it very hard to shoot with, and it ultimately kills in two shots average. Its fire rate can go down depending on the distance and it has a low shooting rate. It essentially works as a reskinned Remington with an aimer at the top, as it was a Remington produced in the 1860s. This weapon works for heavier shotgun players, however I would not recommend it for far in range combat as it's a bit hard to fight back when shooting. My overall rating for this gun, it's alright. Next up is the Navy Revolver. The Navy Revolver has a fire rate of 600, the damage can range from 65 to 75 to 150 in a headshot, and it's a semi with a magazine of 6. The Navy Revolver is very good for in close combat or medium range combat. It acts similar to an 1841 Colt and it is great backup with its ability to kill in one shot for a head. Shots can often be ranged however and it is versatile for both fast and slow players. I'd recommend this for magnum type players or those who wish to have a pistol backup playing style. Overall, I rate this weapon very good in my personal opinion. Next up is Dynamite which fires in 3 shots. You get 2 of them and they automatically light up by pressing G unlike a regular frag which can explode on impact if you aren't careful enough. It fires a very long range but for a very short time. It's around 3 shots. It's very good for quick situations however, so I'd recommend this to speedier players. Overall, it's an okay weapon. Next up is the Model 1873, which here are its stats. 
Its fire rate is 60, its damage can range from 75 to 150, and it usually takes around 1 to 2 shots to kill. It has a magazine of 12 and works kind of like a shotgun as well. The scope and range can range from very far and I recommend this for shotgun players who want to switch to a sniper type weapon, as it works really well in close combat as well. I rate this weapon pretty good. Finally is the bow weapon, and the hunting knife is being skipped because it's exactly like a regular knife to me. The bow weapon is categorized as special so it may have different stats. It has a fire rate of 74, infinite ammo, and takes 2 seconds to reload, and can kill a player in one shot if charged correctly, and 4 regular shots if not charged. To test out the accuracy, I made a smiley face on the wall. It is absolutely horrific in close range combat, and I think only skilled players should use this weapon. It's not for me personally, but if used right, I guess it could be good. I'm quite decisive over this one and this review. Oh, and here's the smiley face. Is it worth it to buy the Wild West Game Pass? On sale, it is absolutely worth it to buy, and I would definitely take advantage of it. However, I wouldn't buy the prototypes just yet, because some of the prototypes aren't always good, or the World War II weapons are alright. But definitely, the Wild West is worth it when this sale is going, so I'd recommend getting it. On to our next point. Let's go through the whole changelog together. This update was a great update with it being just the right difficulty. Adapted difficulty is something I enjoy very much in, where it is easy for new players to learn but harder for players to master. Although I'm not the most skilled at the game, the debuffs are really needed with the P90 and the Chris and the challenge skin requirements having. Some of the challenge skin requirements were absolutely brutal and it took me over 15 hours time for the items as an average player. I'm glad they stepped that down because now the cosmetic items will still take in work are available for a more fair term. Like Next, they added Prestige 1 cosmetics, which although I haven't unlocked, look really nice so far. One of my favorites is the popular game character sticker, which represents Kirby. Definitely gonna have to grind for that one. The new weapon, the Model 1887, is a great addition to the already expanding Wild West collection. It aims in two shots and can kill a player in one. It's the better upgraded version of the Remington in my opinion. The Sable Arms option finally was one of the best updates yet, and same with the Sable Ragdoll. My computer lags with Ragdoll, never trust Prime's internet, and this was a nice addition for lower latency players. I think the best addition in this update was Reticle Rotation, which made scoping a lot easier and a lot more fair. The Reticle is great, and I'm enjoying using it. Snipers would really enjoy this update too, which will help them a lot. Although I'm not one of them, I'm really happy they received this update. The Wild West updates were added to Gun Game, and I believe it would be really fun seeing the semis in action, which is the perfect round to try and have it themed. Gun game is a lot more random too and the bow weapon would be already funny trying to see how players would try and combat with close range and improvise. All as well, it also already adds to the large arsenal of tools. Profile cards were a nice cosmetic addition that I think is really nice. Some of my favorites include the sunset, the green alien border, and more. Next onto the flashbang. Now I'm glad it doesn't persist after spawning, which was a huge issue in game. It was just weird seeing it on the ground. It may be little, but I'm glad they fixed that. Onto the Remington, this is probably the best nerf they've ever done, because many players would just stick to this gun and it would be very easy to get kills because of its 2 hit KO. Now that the Wild West weapons are out, which is multiple Remingtons, it's nice to see them placed on a higher pedestal than them. This game encourages progress and playability, which I found the Remington to be way too buff. Even myself would use it a lot and I would kill those instantly especially in maps like Area 51. Its reload time was also faster than usual. The AS Val, which is a Soviet rifle, was used by very skilled players unlocked at Prestige 2 and level 15. There's also a new map that came with the update earlier this May, which I think was a nice addition too, and I should have covered. The gun had too fast of a fire rate, and similar to the Honey Badger, is often used by more experienced players to kill newer ones too easily. I wish they would reduce the Honey Badger. With the damage being reduced and the prestige being higher, it limits access to only those who can use it effectively, and I really appreciate that from the developers. That's all for the change logs. I think this update was really effective and some of the nicest debuff updates we've seen so far. I think this was one of the nicest updates we received in game and was really important to ensuring skill and fairity, along with the cool new firework which I found out was just a skin and the sale which had some great prices and I'd definitely say was worth it. 
Now onto the YouTube Partner Program update. I'm now monetizing this channel and I appreciate everyone's support in getting there. I want to make this clear my videos will not change. I will also add super stickers, but now my videos will not have an ad at the end of the video and the beginning of the video as well. Certain subjects I will not be monetizing with since it's sensitive, such as my drama videos. Thank you everyone for this opportunity. This video was also a different video, so let me know if you'd like more of these. It's good to expand out and it feels good too. I'm not an expert on this game, but I hope to become good on it because it's fun and I've used it in gameplay videos before. Thank you very much for watching my video. I'd appreciate if you subscribe, and also thank you to everyone for the birthday wishes before, and all the nice wishes about everything else. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Oh, yeah.